After 10 games in the Premier League, Kai Havertz has 6 goals and 1 assist and an average rating of 7.2, as well as 1 goal in the Champions League. Now, I'm not saying that's going to translate to real life eventually, but if he is anything as good as he is in football manager in real life eventually for Arsenal, we actually made a very good signing. We're down in third place in the Premier League, which is not bad considering we're only one point away from the Manchester United side. That did beat us in our only loss of the season so far, but it is obviously not the top of the table where we want to be. In terms of player stats, believe it or not, our top goal scorer is Bakayo Saka, but it is closely followed by the man, the myth, the legend, Kai Havertz, who is turning into an absolute gem in this game and really showing what Arsenal could potentially be in for if he sees his full potential in real life. If you guys are new to the series, this is the FM24 Arsenal beta save where we're rotating between Raya and Ramsdale, game about, as well as just trying to win stuff with Arsenal. So if you're interested in that, please smash the like button, as well as subscribing to the Rex FM YouTube channel so that you don't miss more Football Manager content coming your way. And can we please smash only 20 likes today? We're going to go for a lower target. It's the third episode. You know, people start to click off by now. So fingers crossed you're still hanging about. Since last time we saw each other, I've simulated a lot of games with only one win happening. Sorry, one loss happening. Lots and lots of wins happening. Um, I think the last game I showed you was this Newcastle one. Since then, we've played uh, three Champions League games, all wins. Uh, Premier League games, all wins. Carabao Cup games all wins, but this United game, unfortunately, Rasmus Hoyland, who I do know a lot about in Football Manager, has, against the run of play, scored two goals to get them 2-1 up away from home, which means that we are not winning the league. But again, our XG, our chances created, our shots, not quite position, but you know, like we were the better side that day. It's just unlucky. And fingers crossed, in the hardest game of the season against Manchester City, we can do a great performance here. After losing to them... In the Manchester, well, the Community Shield, I don't know why I was calling it the Manchester something, but the Community Shield, can we bounce back and get a win? We're going to find out right now. Last game was played by Raya, so now it is going to be Ramsdale. And I'm really hoping, because by the way, it just happened uh, in real life, the Chelsea versus Arsenal game, that this is the team that we're going to be using in real life. Ramsdale in between the sticks, please. That would be very nice to see. But this is the lineup we're going with. It's what we've been going with all season, basically. Jesus, Martinelli, Saka, Havert, Odegaard, Rice, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Zinchenko, and Ramsdale. Um, no signings made since last time we saw each other because the transfer window hasn't been opened. But Rafinha has proven to be an okay signing. I mean, he was really cheap, and he comes on as a super sub every now and then and does okay. But he's not going to push for the starting spot at this point in time. Martinelli and Saka are just too good. So let's jump into this game and hope that we can shock the Manchester City side. I mean, in real life, at home, we beat them 1-0. And I have mentioned that a couple of times in this save so far. I'm hoping that that kind of um, manifestation will lead to real results here as they have their strongest 11 out there. I would imagine Alvarez obviously would be starting in real life, but... In Football Manager, I wouldn't say he's a part of that starting eleven, so it is interesting to see how they don't have him in it. But you know, fifty-eight percent position from us early doors is suggesting that maybe they should be bringing him on because they're not dominating. But the shot, the one and only shot in this game so far, has come their way. But the first highlight could go either way as they had the ball, but we went it back. Habits is on it. Who we're trying to talk about this episode because I clickbaited it, so I need to talk about him a wee bit. Uh, Martinelli's on the ball. Trying to find Havertz, doesn't find Havertz, just goes himself, goes out Odegaard and manages to find the goal to put us 1-0 up away from home. This is, I stand by, the hardest game in the season comfortably. This is the best team in the world, arguably, against a good side, obviously, us, but away from home. It, it's, it, I don't need to explain to you why it's the, it's the hardest game of the season and it looks like right now we're going to win it. Well, I mean, I say that and we still have a lot of football left to play, but here's De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva, they've got Haaland in there. Are they going to find him? No, he's going to go for a shot himself and hit the woodwork. Ramsdale has that covered. He's absolutely got it covered. And currently, it is definitely showing me that rotating goalkeepers and football manager isn't really going to do anything because they don't have the mental capacity to, you know, realize, you know, they could be dropped. But I don't, I don't even think, because they just know it's going to be one and one so they wouldn't think they're going to be dropped. They just know I'm not playing the next game, you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know. Would this work in real life? Because, yeah, you wouldn't be worried about being dropped. Well, I guess maybe you would. Because if you still mess up, then, you, yeah, you could. I could just stop doing it at any point in time and you could be dropped. And that right there is not helping Ramsdale not be dropped. Well, obviously, I'm going to keep going one and one So Haaland does score to make it one all. But it's not really proving to, to show any abnormal results. I mean, we're still keeping clean sheets. We're still doing well in terms of our performances and results. And both of the goalkeepers are happy. Let's hope that we can continue playing well in the second half. I mean, I'm going to tell them we owe them after last time because I don't really want to tell them I'm happy. I don't want to tell them I'm mad either because, to be fair, I am pretty happy with how it's going right now. Even though we're on level terms after being one goal up, we're, we're really in this game. And if the ball knocks down to us in the right position, we put it into the back of the net, we're getting all three points. And Saka, playing a 6.3, might have to be the man to come off at this point in time. Gabriel Jesus, still not quite finding the best out of him. He's okay, but he's not world class. Trossard has been coming off the bench recently and doing a good job, so he could be coming on in this game. But I'm just going to start with Rafinha to come on, and I'm actually going to bring off Havertz and bring Smith Rowe on as at Mazala. Even though I have clickbaited Havertz today, I still stick by the team that I think I should be playing. And uh, yeah, if he's not playing well, I need to try and win this game. It's Martinelli, Puna, and Saliba. I thought he was going to head that in. I saw him rising like a salmon, but he can't sting like a bee. 20 minutes to go. And I would definitely take this. I would definitely take it. It's just, you know, when you're so close, you, you, you want to see one more highlight come your way. You want to see one goal go into the back of the net. And here's Rafinha on the ball trying to do exactly that. Can't find anyone. Yeah, you're definitely not going to be taking over Saka's position. But, I mean, if you win the ball back and put gems of balls through, and a man that I said I wasn't sure about, and that's why I'm not sure about him. That's why I'm not sure about him. Oh, that, I mean, it's great that he's shot from there and he's gone so close. But you want to see that go in the back of the net, don't you? Gutting. Absolutely gut-wrenching. Um, do I bring him off now? Fresh legs. Declan Rice is coming off. We'll bring Thomas Partey on because he's looking tired and has a yellow card. Gabriel Jesus is going to come off and we're going to play Trossard as the advance forward. And that's all I'm going to do. If a highlight happens, a highlight happens. If nothing happens, a highlight's happened. A highlight's happened. Could be going their way though to be fair it's them on the ball De Bruyne Bernardo Silva sorry it's Grealish I don't know where I got Bernardo Silva from plays it into Alvarez and that is why you should bring Alvarez on but again it's just the woodwork luckily and uh this could be oh, I thought it was going to be a counter-attacking opportunity for us but both sides really evenly matched here can we score can we score Saliba this is a long long song so you, you know what i'm on about like i was i was gonna do it all but then i just remembered how long that that song actually is and and um yeah this is a youtube video i've got to think about view retention come on boys and girls seven minutes of additional time wow okay there's got to be technical changes going on here now doesn't there odegaard you did everything you needed to do but we're gonna bring Ki kiwi i know how to say it kiwi or kiwi or kiwi or into the team uh, let's move them around. Let's play box to box. Keep the wingers the way they are. Uh, let's go anchor. And let's go down to balanced. Absorb that pressure. And also turn on frequent time wasting. The dark arts. That's what's going to get us across the line here. Away from home against Manchester City. No more highlights. Thank you, football manager. We have seen all we needed to see and we have left with three points. We are top of the table and it is thanks to do -do 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 Saliba. Thank you, Saliba, for scoring that goal in the 89th minute. That is an exciting way to end that game. That's probably the cringiest way I could have ended that. I really regret doing that, 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 that last one. Like, it was good in the moment. But then afterwards, you know, when I just did that song just then, that was that was cringe. Like when he scored, that made sense. But I just did it again, and my my the affliction on my voice, you yeah, know, nah, what? Nah, nah, I'm not gonna do that again, boys and girls. I'm sorry if you if you enjoyed that, it's not happening again. And I don't care if we're playing a little pain a little bit for Kivior. I I don't know if he personally got us across the line, but we got across the line and we won that game two one. And now you're gonna watch us versus PSV. And this again is a crucial game. I didn't even talk about it. Don't click off, because if we win this game, it will secure us in the next round of the Champions League. Because, you know, if, if, if we win, then that means that PSV are on three points and we're on 12 points. And there's only two games left, so they can't get more than, you know, six points. So that would mean we're through. And then even if Lind beat uh, Napoli, 
they'd still be on three points and you know same situation we the, so if we win this game we're through to the next round that's what we want to hear and i think we're going to do exactly that with raya in between the sticks i i have forgotten to do it a couple of times if i'm being honest but i have just you know done double the next time so like here here i did double ramsdale so the next ones i just did oh no maybe it was the ones before yeah, the double rare there, so double ramps. Yeah, it's, sometimes I forget. It's hard. It's hard. You never rotate your goalkeeper normally. It's, it's hard to wrap your head around. Look, if if you don't rotate completely your team in a Champions League game, you're doing it wrong. Everyone has been changed apart from Saliba, including the goalkeeper. Obviously, rare is in between the sticks for this one. So that means that we have Nketiah up top. We've got Trossard, Rafinha on the wing, Smith, Vieira, and Partey in the midfield. Justin on the left back. Kivior and Saliba in centre back, Tommy Yasu at right back, and Raya in between the sticks. And I still feel 100% certain that we're going to be winning this game. And I love that I get a wee Champions League music every time I play this game. It's great. It's great. I haven't turned it off. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, it's, it's nice. You know, it just makes me feel in the mood for a bit of Champions League football. It makes me know that I've earned this, even though obviously Mikel Arteta kind of did this for me. But, you know, I, I, I'm winning. I'm winning, and it's it's good to know. It's good to know, and you can see here domination in the first couple of minutes. Two two shots to the zero. A lot less position though. Um, it went up from I think it was at thirty four percent very early doors there, but I still think that this first highlight is going to be ours comfortably. And it is. And Ketia snaps up a terrible misplaced pass, and that's why you don't play out from the fence when Kitty is there. He's ready to pounce, and he gets the goal. And that is a very unlucky one for PSV. But a very lucky one for us. And that means after 16 minutes, we're going through all the way to the next round in the Champions League. That's what we needed. Vieira's on it with an injury. Puts in Thomas Partey, puts it into the back of the net. And he can feel a little hard done by for not starting more games. But as I said, Havertz is playing really well. We've got Rice, we've got Odegaard. And he has scored, he has scored, luckily. I was going to feel a little bit nervous. And there's, there's not even a shout. You could see a line there. He was, he was miles on. But I was feeling a little bit nervous that that one was going to be ruled out. But... Luckily it hasn't. Rafinha's in. Goes for the shot. It's wide. And this is just a, a cruise around the park for these boys. They've, they've got so much ability, even as the rotator squad. Justin has ended up being quite a good, good uh, pickup, um, despite the fact that he has lost the ball there and left a gaping hole in the left-back position. But that's the kind of stuff that footy manager does now. Thomas Partey covers it in the left-back position, and it means that we have space to get the ball back and actually don't have any defensive issues. It's great. Vieira's there. He shoots it just wide. Goal kick. 25 minutes gone. Another highlight. Are they going to give it straight to Nketiah again, or have they learnt their lesson? Let's see. The pass in around. Comes into their man Lang. Tries to play it through, but Saliba picks it up. Tommy Yasu. Vieira moving it forward into Emil Smith-Rowe. Emil Smith-Rowe going for it. Goes for the shot. Scores 3-0. It's over, boys and girls. We're through to the next round of the Champions League, and we beat Manchester City. This is a good episode of Footy Manager FM24. Beta save. What more buzzwords can I say? Um, experiment. Uh, what else? Uh, tactics. I think they like that. This is all going to help the search engine, by the way. Um, Harland. Harland gets searched a lot. Uh, EAFC. Why not? Let's clickbait a couple of people. Make them search EAFC. Arsenal and have it come up with this video. That would be a plan. This is really uh, how confident. That's how confident I am that we're winning this game. That I'm not even worried about it anymore. I'm on my phone. If I'm being honest with you, I'm literally on my phone. I'm on my phone, but not because I'm you know recording and just chilling out on my phone. I'm, I'm on my phone because I'm looking at. Shout out to you, Mister Willie, Mister Brightside. Um, we're gonna not comment on your name. Uh, it's commented. It's in Winery. In Winery. In Winery, the, 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 the midfielder that I was trying to say his name before. So thank you to you, Mr. Brightside, I'm going to call you because the, the first part I feel might get me demonetized. So in Winery, and he's going to be coming on very soon because he's been playing a couple of games in the Carabao Cup, Champions League, and uh, he's been playing very well. I've been chuffed with him. So he's going to make an appearance now. And as I said, I'm not even slightly worried about this game now. So yeah, he's, he's, he's coming on. Um, so let's get... In Winery on now. Jorginho can also come on for Saliba. And now I know you're thinking, what are you doing, Raxo? That. There you go. That makes sense, eh? Hey, there you go. So now we get to have lots of nice people onto the pitch that deserve some game time, even though 
Jorginho is not exactly in my long-term plans with his age, actually. With his contract expiring at the end of this uh, season, I'm definitely not renewing it. I'd be very happy to cash in on him at in the January transfer window. That, and Especially considering we have no money, that's the kind of player we could get rid of to actually boost our finances and potentially get something across the line in the January transfer window so that then I can actually have a, a title and a thumbnail for that video. That would be great. There's Rafinha with the assist, Smith Rowe with the goal, 5-0 now, and the rotated side, they're doing everything we need them to do and more. And uh, Raya, keeping a clean sheet, I mean, let's talk about that for a second. That's all we need to talk about it. He's got a clean sheet and we're chuffed for him. And it looks like Lens are drawing with Napoli currently, or they did draw Unless it, if it's happening right now, then they were drawing. But if it's already happened, then they did draw. Which would not quite confirm that we are going to finish first. He missed a sitter there, an absolute sitter. Uh, but it would give us a very much good position to, to manage to come first. We just need to win one more of our games against Napoli or against... Oh, damn, that's annoying. I would have liked to clean sheet. Against Lens to make sure that we do... I know that's not how you say Lens, by the way. I know you have to say it with some French affiliation but I, I just can't remember how to do it and i apologize i do apologize for that but i i would butcher it even if i learned it so you know like I, I'm, do, I'm doing my best but yeah one more win and we're getting that top spot which should mean that we're going to be versing an easier side um but right now anyone we're beating manchester city away from home we're beating psv at home with a rotated squad completely we're beating um manchester united at home not beating, so that's one one team that we, we wouldn't like to draw up against. But uh, I would still back us. I would still think we would get the win overall in two legs. Jorginho, maybe you're staying in my plans. Great hit by him. 20 minutes to go, 6-1. It's all over the Red Rover. Have I ever said that yet? Have I mentioned that I think that this game has no chance of them coming back? It is no chance of them coming back. And we've won it. We've absolutely won it. 15 minutes. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. I'm a little bit. I'm getting a little bit sick of these highlights, to be honest with you. I feel like most of you have clicked off because it is now just a little bit boring because we're definitely going to win this game. And it's like you, you click on the videos to see the results, and now that you know the result, it's like why would you even watch any further? But next episode will be just before the January transfer window. I'll milk one more video out before I do into go into the January transfer window. But the video after that, January transfer window. So get excited for that. Um, and I think I'm going to upload every second day. That's my, so the, the, you guys still hanging about, you're the people that deserve to know this great goal by Nketiah there. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to upload every second day. So I'm going to, you know what every second day means. So I'm going to, just like, just like my goalkeeper, just like my goalkeeper. One day upload, one day not. One day upload, one day not. One day rare, one day ramp. I don't know why I'm explaining. I'm really am just trying to milk it to get through this, this game because it has, Normally, you, like, stop scoring goals in the second half. I, that actually normally annoys me, to be honest. You know, like, you smash a team 4-0 in the first half, and then you, your players just kind of stop trying, and they don't score any goals in the second half, and actually you concede one, and you throw away the clean sheet, and it ends up being 4-1, and you're like, well, we actually lost the second half, so that's really annoying. Um, that's not happened at all here, and arguably I would have liked it to happen, because that would have meant I would have... You know, less of a long recording. You guys, it's now an 18-minute recording at this point in time, which is still the shortest video of this, this series so far. But we're just going to wrap it up now. So it, it's over. It's over. 7-1. Through to the next round of the Champions League. Beautiful. Thrilled with the performance and thrilled with you guys watching. If you've enjoyed it, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, and then Ketia wants to discuss club matters. Slightly nervous for that. Hey, Ketia, what's up? Um... Too harsh during the team talk. Nah, mate. Hard enough. There we go. Thank you. I will come back for the game against... Let's go... Liverpool? Or maybe this last... No, we're already through. You guys don't care about that. Liverpool and Luton. Liverpool and Luton. See you then.